Welcome back to the channel guys. Today is an exciting one because it's one that I've been waiting for for a really long time. We are finally getting what hopefully will be my dream trailer. It's going to be a project obviously, but at least we're going to be able to have one so we can do race car stuff I think. Huh? How are the wheels so flat? It's a flat again. Oh, come on. Bunch of garbage here, but we'll stop by the gas station and we'll clear all that out. First one that we get to. Um, just pulling it straight out. At least the tires are all holding air. The wheels all match. So we should be we should be good to go. Nothing else that'll fly out. The magnet lights are working. So I think we're good to go. Everybody loves a good trunk reveal. We have a good junk bin reveal. So we're gonna dig in and see what we found. Bunch of airlines that we're gonna need. Some old broken straps. We can straight that guy out. Coming out. You can just get whatever won't fly away, I guess. Yeah. Get them to their snacks. Just like closer. Let <laughs> <laughs> me film the whole process. No. Huh? Free poop shovel, <laughs> winning. Vice grips that no longer vice <laughs> win.
We got in a little late last night, but now in the daylight, this thing is here. Let's see how we did. So it looks pretty rough on camera, but the steel on this is perfect for what we need. It's nice and strong, it's nice and thick compared to a lot of the newer stuff that's just not built quite the same. It's got provision for even those eyelets for walls and stuff, which this is gonna be a dual use. One, to haul cars, and two, so that we can use it around the property and stuff like that for gravel, dirt, bark, whatever, what, what might have you. Cool thing is, is all four matching wheels other than the tires, which we'll probably replace them. I'm not too sure what year these tires are from. I haven't even looked. All the wiring and everything is gonna get changed around. All the lights on the back and stuff, everything. I'm gonna get all brand new LED, everything. And I'm gonna make it actually so that I use parts from like a truck stop, for example, because that's all readily available and easily interchangeable. So I'm gonna put my own wiring harness on it and stuff. As you guys saw in some of the B-roll, it's even got like a, uh, a winch hitch that they put in here so that you can drag cars onto and stuff. It's overall really, really robust. I mean, I guess you would imagine back in 1983, which is what year this trailer is from, they used a whole lot beefier steel. Maybe it was cheaper, more readily available. I'm not sure, but they did. So uh, the sides are a little long, a little wide, I mean. Um, that's because the guy that I bought this from was using it to haul his off-road rigs. He said that for the longest time he was hauling some old Ford with 47s or something like that. So, uh, but all of that is going to get all cut off and stuff. Go back to its original dimensions. It's got these awesome drive-on fenders, like really freaking robust. They're really nice and needs just a little bit of attention here and there. Surprisingly, in the two hour drive yesterday, the bearings didn't even get warm, but I will be replacing the bearings out, putting in fresh grease and everything, putting in those grease, grease caps and stuff too. So this is gonna be a fun project, maybe not right away, but this is gonna be awesome. It towed great last night, it towed awesome. There was no weaving, nothing. There was, I don't even think that I felt a vibration from it. The van pulled it like it was nothing. I mean, that 3,500, it barely even felt this. And this thing empty is 2,000 pounds. So it's a beast. We can fit just about everything on here. It's going to be awesome. Um, so stay tuned. And hopefully on the, the next time you guys see this, it's going to be getting completely stripped out. I'll be repainting the whole thing, cleaning up all this rust and everything. New wiring, harness, everything. It's going to be an awesome rig. And it was a steal, so it was totally worth it. And shout out to the the guy that I bought it from. He wasn't even there when I purchased it. His dad sold it to me, and he even threw in a awesome hitch that my van didn't have. My van only had the two inch inch. This uses that big two and five sixteenths, and they throw it in, and it was adjustable. So when we do end up lifting the van, we can even adjust that to compensate uh with the trailer it's awesome a little bit of rust but it's still in awesome condition i checked online and just this setup alone is like 220 bucks so it's awesome they threw in the pin for it and everything that i didn't have any comments questions or concerns anything for the goodie order go ahead and leave it down below and we'll catch you guys on the next video